Hello everyone, Mr. Shepherd here again, and we're looking at the mass for today, and our wallet today is to find the total value of two or more coins. Okay, so if you go into your resources, you'll find this PowerPoint, and the first thing I've got there for you to go through is a coin recognition game. Okay, and you just click through, and it'll slowly reveal the coin to you, and you see if you can guess well, um, if which one it is, okay? Right, so I'm just going to show you this one, and it says what coin might this be, and what coin can't it be? So let's reveal part of the coin. All right, now you might have noticed yesterday when you were doing your um, work that we've got in our coins, we've got little groups of two. We've got two coppers, then we've got two silvers that are round, and then we've got two silvers that have got straight edges. Okay, so our coins start with our 2p and our 1p, then they go on to our silver coins, which are round, and that's our 5 pence and our 10 pence, and then we go on to our ones that have got straight edges, our 20p's and our 50p's. Okay, so from this coin, we can see it's a silver coin, and it's got a round edge, so it's got to be either a 5p or a 10p. Okay, which do you think it is? Have a think, and I'm going to reveal it. All right, it was a 5p. Okay. All right, so let's go on to our slides for today, okay? So when adding amounts of money, so we're going to be adding amounts of money today, and we're looking at adding uh, multiple coins, okay? Now, depending on which worksheet you do, you'll either be adding just uh, two coins together, and if you go onto the core worksheet, you'll be adding more than two coins. Okay, so you don't. You can choose one or the other of those sheets. Um, if you, some people are choosing to do both, that's fine. But if you want to, you can just choose the harder or the easier sheets. Okay, so you'll see there's easier sheets in there, and there's also core sheets in there. Okay, so when you're adding amounts of money, the sorry the um, it's best to start with the largest amount first, okay? Uh, so here, we've got a 10p piece and a 2p piece, all right? So if we're gonna find the total value of these coins, it makes sense to arrange them with the largest coin first, okay? So we've got a 5p and then a 2p. Right, so we know our 5p is the bigger coin, so we start with that. Now, on a number line, it looks like this. We've got 5p, we're going to add our 2p, and we get to 7p, okay? So we've got 5 pence piece, that's 5 pennies, and then we're adding another 2, okay, to get to the 7. All right. So, now, let's have a look at this one. We'll just do a few of these, and then you can get on with your worksheets, okay? So we've got... When we're looking at this, what we want to look at is what are we trying to make? It's saying, how can we make 3P, okay? So what you want to do is look for the biggest coin you can without going over the target amount. So the target amount is 3P. So can we use the 10P? Well, the 10P goes over the 3P, doesn't it? So no, we'd have to use the 5P. That's our next biggest one, okay? Oh, no, say, sorry, that goes over our target amount again, doesn't it? We're trying to get to 3P. We'd have to use a 2p then, wouldn't we? So, we're going to use the 2p, and then what do we need to add to our 2p to get to 3p? Okay, we've got 2p, we're adding another one to get to the 3p. Okay, so we're going to need the 2p piece and the 1p piece. All right. Okay, and that's how it would look as a number sentence. So, when you're writing it down, it's going to look like that 2p plus 1p equals 3p. All right, how can we make 4p here? Have a look at the coins. Which ones do we need for 4p? Right, so again, we're going to try and look for the biggest coin we can find without going over our target uh, number that we're trying to get, which is 4p. Can we use the 10p? No, it's too big. Can we use the 5p this time? No, it's too big again. So we've got to go with 2p. So we've got 2p there. And what else do we need to get to 4p? We've got 2p another 2p to get to 4p okay so it's going to be the two 2p pieces all right and that's how our number sentence would look right 
how can we make a six piece the last one we'll do and then you can get on with your worksheets okay so what coin can we use without going over 6p can we use 10p no we can't can we use 5p yes we can this time. okay so we've got a 5p piece which one do we need to make up 6p we've got 5p's and we need to get the 6p's well we need the 1p don't we so it's going to be the 5p piece and the 1p piece okay all right so as i say that's going to look that's going to be what the um number sevens looks like choose which uh sheets you're going to do either do the uh core sheet which is going to be more than one more than two coins it's going to be a little bit harder or you can choose your easier sheets okay so select which ones you want and then just complete them if you want to do both that's fine okay but you don't have to all right cheers okay hope you get on with that well with that see you later Bye bye